Hello YouTube, Basin Truck here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about why every bolt ashkey touches, strips, and why 12 point sockets are garbage. Do it. Look, if you're rounding it off, stop. Every bolt you've touched on this Jeep so far magically has become rounded off. Now let's think about this for a minute. You say you're not doing it, but why is it every one you touch is rounded off? If it's happening to every bolt, then shouldn't that tell you something? Yes, it's telling you that you're rounding them off. Why is it every bolt I've touched has not rounded off? I'm not tr trying to belittle you here. I'm trying to... You see the common theme going on here is what I'm oh. trying to get you to understand. If it's rounding off, you're not using the right size socket. But I know that's a 15. Well, clearly it's not if you're rounding it off. And try not to use 12 points. Use 6 points if you've got them. Here's a 14. See if that fits. Unfortunately, it's a 6. Most of your crap is probably... It is not 14. It is 15. And why is it rounding off? I don't know. You have a 15. Six I was told 12 points are better. Why is it 12 point better? I don't know! That's what I was told on the Who? forum! When? The other day! They said if you have them, 12 points work perfectly. Well, <clears throat> if you have nothing else, the problem is very few things are 12 points. You only really need a 12 point for a 12 point. The only potential advantage is you can put it at a slightly different angle to get it to start. The disadvantage is it strips out bolts very easily. Especially if they're questionable. Just give me the 15 wrench. Yeah, no, you're not using a wrench. Why? Do you even get to it with a wrench? Yeah, it's right there. No, let's hold off for a second. The wrenches will strip shit out too. I found a 16 5 point. Let me see if I can find a 15. Here's a 17. Here's a 15 5 point. It's 3 8. See if that fits on there. Okay. Does it fit? Yes. Okay, try using that one. It's a 3 8 You need the other ratchet. You've got it. Not that one. That's a half inch. Make sure it's loosening. Ow! Oh, did it just break loose? Yes, got it. It didn't strip? No. <coughs> Now, have you learned your lesson? Yes. Fuck 12 points. Then why did the forum tell me 12 points was better? Why are they telling me such hypocritical bullshit? Well, why are they telling me to do one thing one way, and then they reverse listen, their decision and say do listen, it a different way? Because you're talking to 300 people at once. And when you talk to 300 people, you get 300 different answers. But okay. some people have said two different things. Okay, well... Like someone got mad at me for... Half the people on that forum don't know anything either, okay? They're not all geniuses, well, there it is. and not everybody knows everything. Is it loose, or is there another bolt in it? There's another bolt, but I oh. can't get to it. Well, you might have to go from the top. Well, that's so stupid. I didn't have to do that on the other Jeep. I don't care what you had to do on the other Jeep. It's what we have to do on this Jeep right now, so that's what we're doing. What? But listen. Oh, you know what? Not everybody knows everything. Many people just like to talk shit and troll. So that's part of the thing you've got to filter out. Maybe what's right. What maybe isn't right? Oh, here it is. Here it is. That's right. I no remember now. Point. No, no, other side. No. I remember now. It's on the other side. If you need an extension, I can get you an extension. My uh, extension won't fit. Okay. There are legitimate 12 point bolts. Typically, they're head studs. Most head, a lot of head studs are 12 point. They're torque to yield which means you can't use them again. Use them once. What is it? What? Torque to yield. In a head bolt situation, let's say a good example would be the uh, 234. The Lima 234, the old one. 
it came in two variants. One with the six point and head 16. bolts. One with the six point, point head bolts. Or six point. We go ahead. And one with the twelve bolt. The twelve bolts were on the later years. So I don't lose it. Twelve bolts were at the the twelve bolt heads were at the twelve point heads were at the later years. And they were torqued to yield. Now on the six point bolt head bolts. You just torque it down, you do the sequence, and do the pattern. You know, maybe it's 35, 75, 95, whatever it was. I don't remember off the top of my head. And you do it in the correct sequence to get the proper torque on the head. On the 12 points, you would do the same torque sequence. And then when you were done, it would tell you to turn an extra quarter or a half turn. After you got to the torque sequence, then you torque. The 12 point torque to yield bolts, they stretch. They literally stretch and get bigger. It's minor but they do they're designed to do that and once you've stretched them you can't use them again they're not reusable the bolts yes you have to buy new ones they're typically not that expensive but if they're if any bolt is torqued to yield most of them are head bolts cam retainer bolts uh, maybe even some crank like some main cap bearing caps are torqued to yield you can't reuse them they have to be replaced those are the only things I've seen, besides some stuff in some of the BMW engines that use 12-point heads. Six-point is far better in that it does not strip things. The way it doesn't strip things is, if you notice the difference between a six and a 12-point, the six-point has a lot lower, more meat along the edges of the bolt, where the 12-point doesn't. Because there's a because there's long flat points where it clips. Yes. yes. And then the corner. It doesn't allow it to slip. A 12-point doesn't. So if it's an old bolt. It's got some corrosion on it. It doesn't have a big a surface area, and it's much easier to strip them out. So, if avoidable, don't use 12 points. Thanks for watching. Throw a comment down below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.